Hello, it's Reese here with Adore Her Beauty, and I am back again with another Hersetism Wax video. This is a first time client. Uh, she met me for the first time today. I met her, and so she came in for a Hersetism facial wax and a Hersetism treatment. Now, I have gotten several requests to upload longer videos. And so, this is probably one of the longest I've ever uploaded. It's going to be about 11 minutes. It's going to be a two-part video because this is 11 minutes. And this is the waxing only. So, I'm going to upload the second part showing the treatment. But let's get through the waxing portion of her video uh, of her session. Um, because there is a lot that I want to say and go over. So, if you are familiar with my process, I always start on their left side, my right side first. I always start on the tip of the chin, as you can see now. Um, and here, I was thinking, should I lay two layers or should I lay one? Let's lay one and see what it does. I kind of had a feeling it would break, but I was just curious to see. A lot of this is just testing theory. That's how I learned so much about how the wax is going to work, how the hair is going to behave. It's because I test theories. I may mess up. It may not go the way I think it may go. It may go the way I think it will. So when that happened, I just connected the wax back to itself and was able to remove it. This is what is underneath her skin. You couldn't see this initially because the hair was covering up all of the pigmentation or hyperpigmentation and damage. The hair was kind of hiding it. So she actually has several things going on with her skin. She has about level three, level four ish acne. Um, and she also has hirsutism. Now, the thing is, it seems to be worse in her lower chin area uh cheeks chin this is the hormonal area of course um if, you, if you're not familiar when you break out in this area it's likely due to hormone so i'm not a doctor so definitely not diagnosing pcos or anything because that is out of scope for me so now the goal is figuring out is the damage underneath her chin area due to the hair her methods of hair removal acne hormones or a combination of it all now her method of hair removal um that she informed me during our consultation was that she does nair or some form of chemical depilatory hair removal and she shaves so that was the method of removal and so this is how her skin really looks up close there's no lighting differences there's no editing done to this this is literally how it looks and from this area i'm looking like this is literally a lot of damage from razors um hair the hair texture the hair density and razoring especially where you see the pigmentation is so clustered together you can't tell where a section of it ends and a section of it begins this is the type of damage that shaving does and i try to inform people not to shave especially if you're a person of color especially if you have afro texture type hair whether it's on your head or your face you definitely want to stay away from razors for this reason because it can cause so much damage especially if you uh, have a hormonal imbalance now on the other side i'm going to elaborate about some things that i wanted to say on the other side but it's so much that i want to say so on this side once this first strip is removed i'll mention a couple things but here you can see i'm going on ahead and doing the two layer method on the other side i used one layer so on this side it, the hair was even more thicker i definitely want to take a chance of doing one layer and it breaking again so i use two layers and i'm just checking triple checking to make sure that the wax is set and then i go and remove pressure remove pressure you don't you're not able to remove this type of hair in one full swoop you're not because 
just literally imagine going outside and picking up a ball of grass a bunch of weeds it's gonna snap and break it's not gonna all come up real easy that's the best way i can illustrate trying to remove this type of hair and if you look at this strip you can see how thick and coarse and dense and curly the hair is so this type of hair this hormonal hair this beard type hair is not going to give up easy and so this is what i want to illustrate you can see here that her skin is extremely inflamed and this is after the first strip and i'm looking at her skin i'm noticing that it is so red and she has a lot of inflamed follicles and honestly we shouldn't wax inflamed follicles because you can exacerbate the acne which means that makes it spread and you can move bacteria all around and make the problem worse so i'm moving very carefully especially on this side because the inflammation was way worse and so like here you can see me just kind of cleaning her skin because it was oozing and it was leaking and i'm just like oh my gosh let's you know move very carefully and so i'm waxing around certain areas and i you know like i said she has several issues going on she has her system she has acne and i'm just showing how i'm getting those little pieces of hair those little small follicles and you can see they were super curly some of them were even coily now because her skin is her barrier is broken skin is inflamed it is literally red in between the cracks i needed to get more hair but it was way too many to tweed so i'm like i have to do a second layer of wax but what can i do so i dropped a little few drops of oil on a gauze applied to her skin as a skin barrier so that protected her skin and it will allow me to lay more wax and grab the hairs only so if you're wanting to protect your skin you can use a very thin drip drop of oil you don't want to use too much because then the wax wouldn't stick and so i'm showing here how i'm able to remove the hairs and keep the skin in a protected state so i'm going to show you an up close view of the hair and you can see that it literally did adhere to the hairs you can even see the oil sleeks on the wax strip itself so protecting her skin and not doing any further damage was my main concern and so again i'm trying to wax around those open follicles those those inflamed follicles i'm trying to wax around what's oozing and what's dripping because it was a lot and i was really it may look like i'm handling her skin rough but i was super gentle and here when i'm tweezing those little hairs that are stuck behind i'm separating the skin and stretching the skin because i'm opening it up like sometimes it's like the skin just holds on to those hairs and keep them confined so if you're ever tweezing yourself uh at home take your fingers and separate the skin it's going to kind of loosen up around the hair and make for an easier extraction so again my goal is always to have hair free skin um when they are coming in for their facial wax so although she does have you know some active acne going on i still had to make sure i delivered when it came to making sure all the hairs were gone so this was about two weeks of hair growth for her um from the last time she shaved or used whatever method of hair removal this was about two weeks of growth and so there were still a lot of short hairs and i wanted to just make sure that i was getting them so in this section of the video you see me removing those hairs now also i have gotten comments or have seen comments from people saying don't scrape the skin you're doing more damage honestly i'm not it looks like i'm scraping the skin and i am making contact with the skin but it is very gentle and what i am doing is just lifting up the hairs and getting the tweezers in between the hairs to make for an easier extraction now here you can see all the redness just look at the cracks and crevices of the skin it almost kind of 
reminded me of hot lava breaking trying to break through and so i'm taking a little cleanser just cleansing her skin because again there's a lot of ooze there's a lot of fluid coming out and so i just cleanse her skin and dry and you also may see me do this with other clients it's just because i'm removing the little hairs that are just laying on the skin because sometimes it's hard to tell what's laying there and what's actually in the follicle so we have reached the end of this video and um after her wax i do go in with the hirsutism treatment and here i am using skin script green tea cleanser it is a great anti-inflammatory cleanser i'm going to go elaborate on this in the second video i even follow up with uh, some extractions just kind of cleaning out her pores a little bit more getting those stubborn hairs that i found and i'm gonna touch on this in the second video so make sure you come back this is her skin before the first wax strip this next clip is her skin after i removed the first wax strip you can see some of the hairs are still left and this was after the hirsutism treatment it was such an amazing difference we got a lot of the skin calmed i got her on home care and i'm going to see her in three weeks so definitely come back tomorrow for part two